There's an entertaining post about justice being served to one of these gals that deliberately go out with guys to get a free expensive meal and then go some afterwards. And in this situation here, this guy who takes his girl out finds out about her and let's just say it doesn't go well. And of course, she's having a big giant meltdown about the whole thing. And, and this whole concept, guys, is called uh, foodie calls, where women will deliberately, and I've mentioned this before on my other channel, pick a guy, they usually meet them on the dating apps or something like that, and they act like they're into them, and the guy who's foolish and naive spends all this money trying to wine and dine her to get in her panties, or just shit to get some attention, and the second uh, they take him out for this expensive meal, they don't even get a hug, and then the girl ghosts them, which I always tell guys, first date, or first few dates before they're hooking up with you, keep the dates inexpensive. First date, a drink, alcoholic beverage, a wine, a beer, a tea, a coffee, something inexpensive. And that way then you guys see if they actually like you first. Because spending a ton of money is the dumbest thing ever. And you'll see. Title. Am I the a-hole for cheating my coworker out of a free meal? He says, I, a 28-year-old male, work with this woman, Lydia, a 24-year-old female, who has a very annoying habit. She has a dating profile that she uses specifically to lure guys into buying her expensive dinners at restaurants that she wants to try and then ghost them. Right there, guys. He says, Lydia brags about this all the time and is never interested in actually dating, but she'll act like it and try to sell it. See? Probably every time she says that she'll find something wrong with these guys. But she knows darn well in advance she has no interest in these guys whatsoever. So right here, guys, you'll learn something if you're new to the channel. Don't Expe don't do the expensive meal thing. You're crazy. I don't care how pretty she is. And if you're on that date for the coffee or a beer and she wants more food, <laughs> okay, you can pay for it. I can't stand this because it's playing with people's hearts. Uh, yeah, and also their, their wallet. But Liddy thinks of it as a life hack to try food and drinks she otherwise cannot afford. Obviously, Liddy is good looking and used to getting guys. Our friend Daniel, a 32-year-old male, is also on the dating sites, but for the right reasons, of course. Uh, his late wife died a few years ago, and he just started jumping back into the dating scene. Daniel's a very sweet guy, and I really want him to find a great lady for him. Well, then he needs to stay away from the dating sites, especially Tinder. A few days ago, he texted me asking if I knew Lydia. They matched and got to talking about work, which is how he found out that we worked together at the same place. Oh my god. This chick probably has dude, multiple dudes lined up every week to try all the restaurants. I told him all about Lydia's BS with the restaurant thing and made it very clear to him he would do uh, best to drop things and with her early on. Daniel said he'd probably still go on the date, but ask for separate checks. Okay, so this guy's knowing what's going on here. This guy's going to have some fun. Well, they went out this past weekend, and on Monday, Lydia came into work very upset. Hmm. What's up her butt? I asked her how her date with Daniel went, and she ripped me, ripped into me, asking if I was the one who told him not to pay for her dinner. Oh, poor your highness here, that for once some guys are going to be a sucker and pay for things. You're going out with my friend? You brag all the time how you use guys for meals? You bet your ass I'm going to tell him, you effing... Well, I can't say it. Apparently, she had Daniel take her to a high-end steakhouse, and she ended up splurging. She got a drink, a full entree with a side and dessert, where Daniel just ordered a sandwich and salad. <laughs> Her bill alone came to $70 something, and she was almost in tears at work, as she didn't expect to have to pay for it, and now her car was low on gas. Um, number one, that's where you get, asshole. And number two, I don't know where they live. Maybe they live in a different part of the country where things aren't so expensive, but... I've gone to some of these expensive steakhouses in my life. My parents love to go to Ruth Chris Steakhouse. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been there. Very darn good food. But let me tell you, just for one person alone, for the steak and the drinks and all that stuff, you're easy factoring in tip well over 100 bucks a person. And, uh, and I'm sure that's how it is in a lot of places. And if you're in the city, even more than that. I got a little upset, too, as she tried to use my friend as a literal meal ticket. But somehow she doesn't see it that way. Because she's an entitled shithead. That's why she probably goes on TikTok and sees people, women bragging about this and how to do this and you deserve this. Daniel told me later the date was going kind of well until he asked for separate checks and then Lydia just got weirdly cold. 
What do you want to bet that her credit cards are all racked up? So now Lydia is mad at me because I told some someone about her little tactic and it backfired on her. I don't feel like I did anything wrong since I was I, I was a greeting. It was a grieving friend I was protecting, but some of the people we work with said that I should have stayed out of it because it was none of my business. Well, of course people at work are going to say that. Probably guys that want to sleep with her or women that are just like her. But uh, at the end of the day, she, she's the one that goes telling people about this all the time, right? And this guy warned his friend Daniel about it, so Daniel decided to have some fun with her. And I think she got what she deserved. But... Um, now, don't listen to these jackasses at work. And in the future, don't get involved with your co-workers' lives and all that. But she got what she deserved. Tough crap on her. And God forbid the 70-some dollars she had to spend, get, if, given the fact that she's getting all these free meals. And 70 bucks, that's cheap for these uh, expensive steak restaurants nowadays. So, no, he's not the a-hole. Good for him. And uh, she deserved that. And she'll think twice. Hopefully, she'll think twice. Now, a few comments here. One guy says, I'm not the a-hole. She did this to herself. You didn't cheat her out of anything. Her shameful ruse didn't work. If she can't afford her food, then she shouldn't go to the restaurant. You did what was right and protected your friend from a scammer. The people saying you did wrong are people with opinions not worth caring about. Exactly. Or they're scammers too. Another one. Not the a-hole. This is a con known as a lonely heart scam or just romance scam. Uh, you pretend to be romantically interested in someone, suck up as many gifts as you can, then ghost them. They often target widows, widowers, because they're emotionally vulnerable. Lydia will deny it up and down because she doesn't see herself that way. But she's literally a con artist taking advantage of people. Right. I guarantee every single time she probably would list all these reasons that didn't work out with that guy or that guy, even though they spent a lot of money. But the reality is she went into it knowing darn well. Darn well that she's not into them. Or sometimes the excuses are like, hey, you know what? He's just a player and is going to use me, so therefore I deserve that free meal, that free expensive meal. Well, newsflash, the players and bad boys aren't going to take the girl out to the expensive meal. The players and bad boys are going to end up having the girls pay for them. You know, Or they'll just meet them at a bar and bang them and then they'll never hear from them again. It's the nice guys that are going to shell out all this money in these first dates. Another one, <clears throat> not the a-hole. You even told your friend to just cut ties and they decided to still go on the date. You did your part by warning them. or No, you didn't warn them, you warned him. And that's all you could do. It was up to your friend to decide if, if he would pay for the dinner and uh, choose not to. Eventually, Lydia had to know this scam was going to catch up with her. And last one says here, uh, not the a-hole. It had been a... It had been a it had been a dick of you to go looking for her next date, but that's not what happened. She picked someone who happened to be have inside information. That's on her. Daniel might be a dick because, in general, if I ask someone out, I think it's understood that I'm paying for them. And it sounds a bit like he was setting her up since uh, they didn't discuss the split before the date, even though he knew that was his plan. But that's not on you. She played a game. She lost. Uh, no, he's not a dick. Daniel's a rock star. Okay? He did things... Absolutely. And there's... This is the age of uh, empowered women, and guess what? If uh, they're empowered, they can help pay for things. But here's the funny thing. I always joke about how it's all about empowerment and equality until it's time to shovel snow or pay the dinner bill. Then all of a sudden, nope, 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 got traditional roles here. So no, this guy's in the villain, and she got what she deserved. But again, gentlemen, for you dating relationship types, watch out for these types. I guess you see a pretty girl is interested in you, and you definitely want to get in those panties and have a future with her, and, you, and you're so inclined, that little beta inside you is coming out to pay for everything and splurge on her. Be careful, otherwise that could be you.